Good evening. Religion and politics, sensitive topics that have been known to derail polite conversation at the dinner table are having the same effect on the campaign trail tonight. It started with a not-so-veiled comment about genuine Christianity by a supporter of Republican presidential candidate Rick Perry. From there, it devolved into an attack on Mitt Romney and his Mormon faith. And tonight, as the candidates try to quickly redirect the conversation, Romney is once again facing the same question that dogged him since his first White House run. Will his religion become an issue with voters? NBC's Mike Vicara joins us now from the White House with more on this. Mike, good evening. Good evening to you, Lester. There is more fallout today over that Texas pastor's remarks attacking Mitt Romney's faith. But after years of wrestling with these issues of politics and faith, religion and politics, many are asking the question, does it all still matter? How y'all doing? Turning out to see Herman Cain today in South Carolina, some GOP voters were put off by the attack on Mitt Romney's faith. I don't believe uh, that the Mormon is a, a, a bad cult. It's definitely a form of Christianity, so to say that again is, is very divisive and I don't think it's helping anything right now. Today, GOP candidates were shying away from the controversy. Senator, do you think Mormonism is a cult? No, I don't. Is Mitt Romney a non-Christian? I'm not running for theologian in chief. The firestorm began this weekend at a meeting of social and religious conservatives in Washington when Texas pastor Robert Jeffress introduced Romney rival Rick Perry, praising his devout faith. He is a true conservative and he is a genuine follower of Jesus Christ. Backstage, Jeffress made his views on Romney's faith clear. Mormonism is not Christianity. It has always been considered a cult by the mainstream of Christianity. Jeffress opened up an old divide. While other Christian faiths rely solely on biblical scripture, Mormonism also follows the revelations of the church's founder, Joseph Smith. White evangelicals, many of them, have a theological beef with the Church of Latter-day Saints. Perry says he does not agree with Jeffress. Later at the same conference, Romney called for unity from social conservatives. Poisonous language doesn't advance our cause. This isn't the first time Romney has had to defend his faith. As a candidate in 2007, he tried to assure conservative doubters. If I'm fortunate to become your president, I will serve no one religion, no one group, no one cause, and no one interest. But experts say that this year the economy dominates and the faith question may take a back seat. This is really about the economy and about one's skills to be CEO of the nation. And Lester, with Chris Christie and Sarah Palin dropping out of the race in the last week, Mitt Romney is now clearly the front runner. He can expect a lot more attacks from his right flank. In the past, he's taken positions on issues like abortion and gun control that don't jibe with GOP orthodoxy. Lester? Mike Vicara tonight. Thanks, Mike.